Can you believe these guys? I mean, come on. That's got to be that guy's fourth shot out of the same bunker. Pick it up, fella. Come on, pick it up. <laughs> Look at the old guy lining up for the putt. As if his life depended on it. His life does depend on it. I'm hitting oh, into oh, these guys oh, right oh, now. Oh. No, no, no. Don't do that, man. Calm down. We came out here to get away from it all, remember? Just relax. Relax? I can't relax. Look at those guys. They're driving me crazy. And I don't have far to go. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. It's just, I got so much going on. and I'm just a mess right now. I, well, you know what? I say we just blow off these last three holes and just head to the clubhouse. Like, I quit. I'm done. I'm, I'm I with quit. you. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm whoa, with you. Whoa, whoa, guys, come on. It's finally a beautiful day outside there, and we're golfing. Things could be a lot worse. Oh, yeah? How? Well, it could be raining, yeah. or it could be snowing. Yeah, it could be a flood, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 oh, even worse, we could be stuck in church like Frank right now. Yeah. Yeah. But instead, yeah. we're out here yeah. golfing. Yeah. <clears throat> I suppose you got a point. Yeah. No kidding. Hmm. And... Do you remember? We got our 10.30 tee-off time. Yeah. The best tee-off time That's we have true, gotten yeah. all yeah. summer. Had to sleep in this morning. Poor Frank. He had to pull out on this beautiful day. No, oh, he called me and tells me his wife told him about being a family man, manning up, taking his kids and family to church. Man. People that pray together stay together. I'm like, what? Anyway, what a waste. I mean, no kidding. Like, I don't do church. I don't care if it's Easter or not. I don't do church. There you go. I, I think about it like the last time I was in church, man, I was 12 years old at the grandparents' house in the summer. 12 years old the last time I was at church. Wow. I can't remember really the last time I was at church. It's got to be, I'd say, in eight years maybe. Yeah, probably wild. eight years ago. Yeah. We get up one morning, Sunday morning, Lynn says, We're going to church. Oh, I'm thinking, you know what did I do? You know, I think yeah. I did something. So anyway, try to talk her out of it, but you know, when she gets that in her mind, you know, you're not changing Lynn's mind, right? Yeah, yeah. So I get out the yellow pages, flipping through the yellow pages, and there it is. You know, something like, life's a journey church, right? Yeah. So that looks as good as any, so off we go. We get there, and right off the bat, this big, tall, skinny guy's up there talking about faith. <laughs> I'm thinking, faith? Faith? Can you tell me something useful, you know? <laughs> like, how are you going to keep me out of trouble, or... How are you going to lower my handicap? Yeah, I mean, huh? no kidding. Yeah. Like, I need guarantees. Why not? Like, that's the way I am. Like, I need a guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, so we're at this service, right? And this guy, this big tall fella, he's up there, and he's droning on and on. Like, I'm talking. Like, it's a long time, right? He's talking on and on. He's talking about faith this, faith that. Oh, Jesus this, Jesus that. Uh, <laughs> at one rough. point, he said something like, uh, what was uh Follow Jesus, love God, love others. I was like, oh, cow, fella. I mean, the whole ball and chain. I'm getting the whole thing, right? So I'm getting to this, and I'm thinking, and it hits me. For this, I'm missing golf? Oh, man. Oh, so right That's then rough. and there, I had the epiphany, fellas. I tell you right now, I haven't darkened the door since. And today, my brothers, I stand here a free man. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, besides, like, all this faith and church and Jesus talk. Yeah. I mean, what's to say that uh, God just doesn't drop here on the golf course? Why not? Absolutely. I mean, why not? I mean, I know what you're saying about Lynn going on about church. When the missus starts like this with me, yeah. we're going to church. You know what I say? This is what I say. Dear, the next time you see me in church, it's going to be at my funeral. Ooh, Ooh that's deep. funeral. Yeah. That's a little heavy, Stop man. Stop that. Yeah. That's a little heavy. So what about you, Tommy boy? When was the last time you were at church? Funeral. What? Funeral. Ser yeah. Seriously? Oh, you're kidding me, right? No, no. It was, uh, it was about four years ago when my father died. Oh, oh I forgot yeah, about that. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Don't yeah, worry. You know, that. he got old. He died. Yeah, we please. really weren't close. We didn't talk much. No, he decided one day to up and move to the big city, the big church. He moved up to Tavis and Tack. Oof. Yeah. That's nice this time of year there. Yeah. yeah. So we, uh, anyway, I had to go up there to the funeral, so I jumped in the car and I drove forever and uh, got there. And Oh, it's not a big city, I tell you. And it's just a nice little United 
small church. But uh, anyway, yeah. we were all crammed in there like sardines. Yeah. Sweltering hot. No AC, I bet. No. That's what they do to you. Oh. Stick you right in there. It's hot. Oh. <laughs> it was horrid. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, as soon as that funeral got out, I did what any of us would do. I jumped in the Civic and I drove right back to Moncton. I haven't darkened the door of a church since. <laughs> Can you believe it? I believe yes. those dinosaurs have finally <laughs> migrated <laughs> off the yeah. mud green. Hallelujah yeah. for that. Oh. All right. Who's up, guys? Let's go. Uh, that would be me, I believe. I will now. Uh, I don't hey. know. I double bogeyed last hole. Uh, yeah. Got me. yeah, yeah, beats me. I'm up. Hey, guys. You mind if I play through? Uh, it's up to you, I guess. Uh, you'd be stuck behind those old geezers down there. <clears throat> I mean, we got three holes left, guys. What do you think? I know where he's. Our here. fourth never showed up. He had, uh, what do you say, family responsibilities today? Uh, yeah, I know. He's in church. Fourth row, six feet in. How'd you know that? I know a lot of stuff about Frank. All right, Matt, you're away. Have we met? Yeah, you could say. Uh, you were introduced to my father at your grandparents' place. I think you were 12. Okay. Anyways. All right, Matt. Let's go one time, buddy. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. oh. That doesn't look Ooh. good. That's going to be. Yep. Oh, that's a wet one. That's a wet one. Ooh. That's a wet one, all right. Yeah. yeah. Tough yeah. break there, pal. Yeah. One pond yeah. on the whole course. You found it. Well, it's a gift. Yeah. It's a gift. That's a gift. You might want to re gift that one. Yeah. All right. Go, fellas. I got uh, 147 yards. About uh, eight iron. I got no wind. Watch this, boys. This is going to be good. All Need right, the ball. here we go. Here we go now. Come on, eight iron. Here we go now. I got faith in you, eight iron. Let's go. Me and you, one time. Talk to daddy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's deep. Oh, that's rough, pal. Oh, that's a tough place to be, Pete. Serious trouble. All right, Tom, show us the way to the green. Do I know you? I know you, and I know your dad. Tom's you dad. knew my dad? No, no, I know your dad. All right, boys, watch and learn. Let's go, Tommy boy, one time. Oh, whoa, that's hard. What, you got <laughs> helium in that thing? <laughs> You're going to make it rain. Whoa. <laughs> All wow. these years golfing you, the guys, yeah. I have never skied a ball like that. Oh, uh, uh, you're awfully good at it. I think so. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I well, don't even know how far I got to go. Well, let's see now. I, I think you got some good news and bad news here. So you got about uh, two yards. <laughs> we started with 147. You got about 145 to go. <laughs> good news is you get to use your same club. And, I mean, look at it this way. At least you're safe. Good point. Yeah. All right, who's up? I guess it's you. Let's see yep. what you got. All right, so now you got 147 yards. Uh, be, care be careful about the pond over here. All this other stuff. You got no wind, and uh, dance floor is open. Let's see what you got. All righty. Uh, Tiger, that's a one iron. What? What? Did you shoot this hole to one iron? Yep. That's pretty much all I use now. Tiger. I don't know why exactly. Might have to do with that old joke. Not even God can hit a one iron. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. We got 147 yards. Need to make sure we uh, stay clear of that lake. Hey, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. No guarantees a fellow's going to find his way out of that. I'm one for guarantees. I say, give me a sure thing. Yeah. Guy doesn't want to go around putting his faith in the wrong thing, like his eight iron. <laughs> hey, Pete. Find himself in serious trouble. Deep woods. Dead even. Yeah, don't stick me with that ball and chain. I want to be safely home. I don't think anyone's safe. Sure, I want to be, Tom? Hey, safely home? Uh, yeah, safely home. Safely home. All right, guys, let me lead the way. Wow. Whoa. That looks good. Whoa. That looks good. That was incredible. That's two feet from the hole, Tiger, with a one iron. Wow. 
Wow. Thanks, guys. I mean, that was incredible. Who'd you say you were? Pete, we've crossed paths many times. Don't you recognize me? Uh, kind of do look familiar, I guess, maybe. Been a long time, Matt. So, how is it that you say you knew my dad? I know your dad, Tom. We talked this morning. <laughs> That's a hole in one, buddy, with a one iron. Sure enough. <laughs> Listen, uh, I think I've had enough golf. I think, uh, I think you and me, you, you and I, need to talk. <laughs>